All right, it's a Reynolds wrap, and we're at the Coney Island. Not the one that's in New York, that's, uh, that's the main room. We're in the lounge, which is in Florida, and uh, this one here has a little different approach. They got a, a redneck area at Coney Island here, and uh, we're, we get a warning, in the redneck area you may encounter American flags, uh, armed citizens, the Lord's Prayer and country music and you have to proceed at your own risk, it says. <laughs> One of the other things you might run into is uh, if, if you're in this area, you might run into people who are interested in sinkholes. Now, a sinkhole is a phenom in Florida because it's sand. And people build their houses and have their cars and, and it rains a lot. And when it rains, the water table underneath erodes the soil and the thing goes down. Now. This is a very Latin territory here, and uh, what they have in May, they celebrate Cinco de, Sinkhole de Mayo. Bad joke. Anyway, they, <laughs> you don't like that one, do you? <laughs> so we have, we have uh, uh, alligators in Florida, yeah, and we have uh, real estate salesmen. They're known as shark. And so, you know, you gotta be careful of all the things that are pitfalls. Now, what I'm mostly interested in is there's a lot of rain, and we have retired people here. And my walker got rusted, so uh, I'm having a hard time. Uh, in the summer, which it is now, you know, usually when it doesn't rain like this, my walker gets stuck in the tar, and I can't go too far. Of course, when you're driving, you shrink, you know, when you get older. You know that, right? Gravity pulls and, you oh, down. Gravity John. pulls you right down there, and, you, and your breasts <laughs> also sag. And if you have mantids, you know, you're all you you gotta you you can you gotta get a training bra, go to the gym. But nobody sees your head when you're driving, you know. So I think the new cars, instead of having the self-driving Mercedes, we ought to have a periscope. And you ought to sit there. And you know what? Let me tell you something else. United Airlines really needs to get in the drone business. They've got to, go get, they've got to get themselves a baggage drone delivery service. And, and just get going with what you need to do, which is to get the baggage from your house to where you're going without touching it. And you, that's worth $25. So screw Spirit Airlines. Get the 25 bucks, get yourself a drone baggage delivery service, and, you're, and now we have a society that really is operating. The bad news is if you're sitting on a plane and you run into your bag because it's on a drone, you're not gonna be real happy. <laughs> you gotta, so we should have a drain on the drone area. And I, I think also the next thing to have is a, uh, in the airlines, in the plane, somebody to warm the seat for you in the toilet, and a guy in the middle seat should be paid extra so you can sleep on him, you know. And then the guy, has, you have a little leaning privilege. And another thing that might happen, since they don't want to serve food, they see the reasons why they have the seats so close together is so your knees are in your mouth and you don't require a meal. That's the reason. <laughs> but, you know, there's a lot of thought in all of this. And uh, that's the airline business, if you didn't know. Space but is very valuable up there, Joe. Very valuable information in this redneck area <laughs> and the important thing to know about rednecks is that they all eat everything with grits and let me tell you what grits is grits is whatever ain't whatever ain't is grits that's grits it's you remove everything from the planet and you're left with grits when we when we have an atomic or a nuclear explosion on this planet you could have grits and the grits will still be there lit up because they got they're like kryptonite you know and they're and they're here for life Grits are here forever. So when you're having your grits for breakfast this morning, and some of us have what they call, what I have, grits for brains, you know, you gotta, you gotta really respect grits. And this is the nitty gritty, this is it. The redneck area and their favorite food is grits. So that's it, wanted to pass it on to you. I even put grits on my pizza. I smoke grits to get high. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's just sickening. All right, I've had enough. It's a Reynolds wrap. <laughs>